My main motivation for doing what I'm doing, um, it is really impacting families in a way that children can just enjoy life and be children. I didn't start uh, wanting to work in immunology. In the first place, I liked medicine, uh, but quickly changed to marine biology. But life took me to uh, immunotoxicology instead, uh, looking at toxins and the effect on the immune system. And this is really where I found the world of immunology and really, really enjoyed it. The statistics around uh, asthma and allergy uh, is particularly overwhelming. What is missing from most of the countries where asthma is really high is actually something that's been with us for millions of years. And I'm talking about parasites and uh, parasitic infections. There's a particular uh, parasite that we found to be quite successful in helping its host. This parasite is uh, a hookworm, and we've had really amazing results, especially in uh, suppressing allergic diseases. We don't have to use the parasite itself. We can use substances that it produces when it normally infects a person. And from that substance, we can now imagine a little design drug that's, that can be easily taken by everyone. No, I don't think hookworms are scary. I think we just should understand them and uh, see what we can learn from them. Now that we know we've got something that seems to work in the lab and can treat asthma, I think now looking further and imagining that we can potentially prevent the development of the disease, I think this is exciting. The next stage then from this work is obviously to make sure that it can translate into um, human and particularly children. The effect of suffering from a chronic illness in children, it alters their behavior, their psychological development and their confidence. If preventing means that they can actually develop like any other kid, if this protein can do that, that's the game changer, I think. My family unit is the most important thing in my life. My kids, they, they're the light of my life. I would do anything for them. My goal with this work is potentially to look at other conditions as well. Um, the way the protein seems to be working seems to indicate that it might be applicable to other conditions um, in which the defect is actually common to allergy, um, and I'm talking autoimmune diseases. The key really is, rather than having to suffer from the disease once you're an adult and then get that cure, why not just see if we can prevent it altogether? And bypass the damage and the, rem the remodeling of the tissues. I feel terrible for parents who have to really deal with their children's severe allergy and asthma on a regular basis. It's just not a way to live and I feel terribly sorry for, for them and I want to help.